Good evening and welcome to another edition of How to Rock the Stage. I'm your host, Rich Bontrager, better known as The Trigger. I'm here to better help you rock the stage. Whatever your stage is, we are all now broadcasters. We're all trying to take our brands, our message, our books, everything online to better communicate who we are, what we do, and who we serve. But part of the trick is, how do you do it? How do you come alive on stage? How do you present in a way that people will like you, trust you, fall in love with you, buy your materials, come to your courses, and ultimately have a great time with you? Tonight, we're going to talk about one of the hottest trends going on, and that is TikTok. It has exploded, and it's not just for fun and games. It's for business. TikTok has taken over business in a powerful way, and we're going to talk about that tonight. Our second part of a two-part look at TikTok just in the month of July. Coming up next week, we're on the road. In fact, the next two weeks, two special editions of Rock the Stage. We will be live from Omaha, where I'll be co-hosting and running the Ignite Conference. Greg Bohr will be our guest, and Craig and I will be in the arena the night before the conference goes live. We're going to talk about the Ignite Conference, but also talk about in-person events and how you create them and run them and how they come alive. We're going to have a great time with a special edition out on the road on July 27th. We kick off the month of August. August 3rd, we will be announcing a new partner with Rock the Stage and a new course creation that we are working on together. It's all about creating great courses and taking the media skills we talk about here and bringing them together. We're really excited to be launching something new and exciting for the month of August, just in time for everyone getting back to school and back to work once again. But tonight, we are with Alex Height. And before the pandemic, Alex was an international award-winning hotel manager. He moved to Hawaii with no car, no job, no apartment, and no connections in December of 2019. Keep these dates in your mind, by the way. He landed the best job of his life. Then on his first day, he was laid off because of COVID lockdown. That's right. Alex pivoted to real estate, and in his first year of a re being a realtor, he sold $3 million worth of real estate in Hawaii. Since then, Alex is a TikTok expert and a consultant who has helped hundreds of businesses succeed on the platform of TikTok. His unique approach to social media guarantees your success and leaves nothing to chance. Welcome tonight to the virtual stage, Alex Height. And Alex, great to see you this evening. How are you doing? But it's super excited to be here, Rich. Thank you so much for the opportunity to rock the stage tonight. I am excited. Actually, that's why I blew it. I've been looking forward to this. Because a couple of weeks ago, you were on. I know we were talking about TikTok, and we knew you were coming. But you got so excited, you jumped in early and had fun with us. What have you been thinking about for the last two weeks after you were here on the show? Yeah, I've been buzzing since the last show. And just the, the, the opportunity to get on a stage like this and to share the good news about TikTok. And uh, Melissa, who is your last one talking about TikTok, me and her are actually good friends now. I was just so pumped on everything what she was saying because it was the exact same things that I tell people every day. And to, and to have it from somebody like her who has 220,000 followers on TikTok, 22 million views on one video, was on the Kelly Clarkson show. I was like, you know, I, I'm giving myself goosebumps right now because it's like what we're telling people is the truth and they just got to implement it. And that's what we're getting into deeper tonight. We're going to get more of the business the aspect. And I'm, I'm sure you have other surprises coming our way tonight. Just for a reference here, everybody, TikTok is the biggest and best new social media platform. That's not me saying it. That's everyone talking about it. More than 2.6 billion downloads, 1 billion actively monthly users. TikTok is now more popular than Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for social media video content. Alex, you had your job, your new life, and then boom, shut down, and now you're a TikTok expert. How in the world did you make all those pivots at one time? Yeah. Yeah, I got laid off from my job first day. You know, it was the best job of my life. And first day I got laid off because of COVID. So they said, what the heck am I going to do now? And they said, hey, you know, uh, you might come back. So, so I stuck on, held on, was actually a delivery driver for an entire year trying to make it work. I mean, literally driving delivery 14 hours a day, seven days a week, just to pay rent and get by. Like a lot of people had to do through COVID thinking, man, I'll eventually go back to hotels. After about a year, I said, I don't think I'm ever going back. And so I pivoted to real estate, became a real estate agent, no connections in the industry and had no money. 
And I knew some things about social media, you know, growing up on it. I managed social media accounts for big businesses like Holiday Inn Express and, and a, a boutique hotel in Japan and, you know, for the other hotel that I managed, Hotel Indigo. And so I understood some things and had success on their accounts and just had it never implemented for myself and my business. So I implemented these strategies that don't cost anything. I call them guerrilla marketing or unconventional interactions on social media and was able to do $3 million in sales with complete strangers who I never met, you know, met them all on social media and never paid for an advertisement. And at the end of 2021, I was actually planning on leaving Hawaii, if you can believe it. And so I was trying to figure out what can I do? You know, if you're selling real estate in Hawaii, you got to stay in Hawaii. So I wanted to create an online business and I started helping people on TikTok because I got actually on it myself at the beginning of 2022. And in my first month on TikTok, I got 200,000 views in my first month. And a light bulb went off and I said, every single small business owner needs this too. And they need to do it right now. Because it, what I was, when I sold $3 million of real estate, I wasn't even using TikTok, if you can believe it. I was just pounding the pavement. And what took me a week to do on other social media platforms, I did in a day on TikTok. So ahead, interesting Rich. that you got in the real estate. And again, these numbers are important. I want everyone to hear this. TikTok launched in 2018, 2019, yeah. you land on the island and then you start real estate and you go into something different and you come back around to this new thing called TikTok. And I know for a fact, TikTok for real estate, by the way, is amazing. You can give tours of homes and show people did you do that with your business? Did you grab a hold of that or not? At the time, I was just using Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook. And I think, man, how many sales could I made if I was actually using TikTok effectively? But I was one of the people who was late, to, you know, who, who thought, ah, oh, this isn't for my business. I don't want to be on video. I used to be the guy who posted once every four years on Facebook. You know, <laughs> I was that guy. Now I'm posting 10 videos a day on TikTok every day. You know, it's completely changed. And I'm not doing it because I love TikTok. I'm doing it because it's incredibly effective. So they've opened up a whole TikTok for business. Again, when I, when I first got on, I tried to do the yeah. business thing. I've talked about this last time. I tried to share the rock to stage energy for the regular TikTok. But even I got pulled into the songs, the lipstick, and the fun, the, the weird stuff. Uh, but now they actually have a branch of it, TikTok for business, that now businesses are realizing short content works. And this is the place to be. Tell us about that transformation. Yeah, I like to really demystify TikTok for people because people have their, their perception of it, what they've seen in media or on the news, you know, what they've heard. And really what TikTok is at its core, it's short form video on your phone. That's what it does better than any other social media platform. YouTube is really long form video on your computer and TikTok is short form video on your phone. So the question really isn't, can I, my business benefit from TikTok, the brand, what people think it's, can your business, can your business benefit from short form video on your phone? And the answer to pretty much every business is yes. Right. Well, so, here, and, here, and, go ahead, Rich, go ahead. No, no. I was just going to say short form content's always been here. Yes. TV has been doing it for years. Radio has been doing it for years. A, an average news segment of an interview with someone is 15 seconds on the news. The average commercial is 30 to 60 on radio TV. That's right. TikTok is picking up on that now turning it into literally you have TV in your hands to market yourself. It's ingenious, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 in, yeah, it's just taking and, and really the secret, the, the, why is TikTok so successful? Well, you know, it has this, this algorithm, which can, you know, to the for you page and it anticipates what you are interested in and it sends you content that's relevant to you. Okay, so it's now it has this hyper advanced algorithm it uses AI and what you've interested in to send you relevant content. So it's incredibly addicting. And, um, and as far as short form video, yeah, short form video has always been around. You know? Yeah, it's always. Been. And yeah, but it's like, what's the medium to put it on? You know, Facebook wasn't always the right place. And then TikTok really flips social media on its head. And it's around this for you page. When you post on Facebook, when you post on LinkedIn, you post on Twitter, you post on Instagram, it goes out to your followers. TikTok, it's the exact opposite. Every single time you post, you reach new people. Every single time you post, it goes into this thing called a for you page. And that's exactly what businesses need. Everybody on Facebook already knows what you do. You've told them a thousand times. Small businesses need to reach new people every single time we post. And that's exactly what TikTok allows people to do is to reach new people every single time we post. And it's ingenious. It works because every time you flip on your phone, you got the ones you're always tracking and you got the for you all already waiting for you. You can't ignore yeah. it. It like mm -hmm. screams and jumps off the page at you. Yeah. 
We're going to do a lot more. Don't forget, you, the second half of the show, we're going to let you ask the questions of our expert here tonight. We're going to take you backstage in the second half. We're also going to allow the, uh, the chat boxes open now for any questions, comments, and also the Q&A. Raise that digital hand. The Q&A will grab it off and share it. A lot of ways to ask questions from Alex. Here's our poll question for the night. And again, we're going to let you, the audience, vote on this. TikTok purpose. What is your TikTok purpose? What would you like to do and help you grow sales, grow your brand awareness, grow more speaking gigs, uh, raise awareness for a special cause maybe, or make you a TikTok star? We're going to come back to that. We're going to let that roll for a little while. Alex, give us some tips now on how we can bring our business and really start elevating our game. People may have tried it. They got frustrated. They got sucked into the playing around like I did. What can they really do to land business and grow their business? Yeah, yeah. I think the number one problem with most businesses is there's so much noise on social media. There's so many distractions that getting noticed is so hard in this day and age. And most people don't buy from you. It's not because they, they don't like you it's, or they don't trust you. It's because they don't know you. They, they don't and if they know you, they don't remember you because there's a million distractions through the day. So what can business owners really do to, to get business off of TikTok, to be effective on TikTok? One, it's get seen. And that's something that I help businesses with is how do you find your audience and get seen by them? And, and part of that is posting a video, but that's not the only thing that we do. We don't just post videos. We're proactive about going and finding our customers, right? TikTok has one billion active users. You know, oh, like you said, 2.6 billion downloads. People say, are my customers on TikTok? Yeah, you know, everybody's on TikTok. The question is, how do you find them? Mm -hmm. And I help business owners find their customers and let them know, hey, I, you know, first obstacle is I exist. And then, and then we, and then we talk about, okay, what the, what should the content be about? And in a short form video, the content can be about a, a lot of things. I mean, there's no one size fit solution for any business. And, and so here's maybe what people should absolutely do on TikTok, my top level advice. Here's what most people have the time, the skills, the effort to do. And I always help people down here because we didn't go to we didn't go to school to be a video editor or a director or, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> we, we, we're, we're a business owner. Yeah. And I always keep that in mind with people and say, OK, this is a busy business owner. What do they have time to do and, and how can we make that the best possible so they can so they can customers? Yeah. I love that. I, I tell people a, a lot of the time. I went to school for this. I've got three years of experience. I was prepared and trained to do it. And I've got all these years. Welcome to broadcasting. You don't know it. So let's help you. That's a great attitude to have. I love what you're saying. Now with this whole business side, there are things like challenges, business challenges. There are hashtag challenges. There are brand takeovers. There's brand effects you can get into. Tell us what some of these different things are of how we can actually, maybe let's step back for a second. How should we do this? Do we want to be too professional or do we want to show our personality and talk about what we do? Which way is the best TikTok way of coming alive? I would say both. I would say both. Yeah. Your content can be varied, but you just want to make sure your offer is, is pretty streamlined, right? You don't want to be a jack of all trades and you got one of these and one of these and one of these, you know, you don't, you have one thing you're an expert at, but you could share all the aspects of your life. There's kind of this transition of people doing brands with these hyper-professional brands to these conscious brands. And now people want to go directly to the person who's in charge of the brand. And you're seeing this a lot. People are stepping in front of their brand. And they're representing them brand themselves. And this is really the, the great thing about what we're doing in the TikTok for Business Group. We're allowing that person not to hire an expensive digital marketing agency and stand in front of their brand, look so professional and, uh, and without you know, spending one-tenth of the price. So the question always comes, you know, what's the type of content I should create? And I kind of say, you know, it's the content that you like doing, that you can do every day, and that you'll be consistent at. It's kind of like going to the gym. You know, you, you can't go to the gym one time, lift a bunch of weights or record, you know, a hundred TikTok videos in a row and you're a success overnight. This happens for some people, but really the growth and, and the longevity comes through the consistency and, and uh, you know, and to do it consistently, you got to like doing it. So it's different you, for every person. You also nailed one of the biggest shifts of this. They are coming out from behind the desk and they are the brand. And I'm coaching on that big time. We are now the brand messenger. We are the brand entity. It's not just what you sell. You are now becoming alive and TikTok's really pushed that forward. You're absolutely right. You have to breathe it, eat it, sleep it, know it. They are coming right straight to you. It's a direct content yeah. uh, conduit to you, not just to your employees, right? 
Yeah. Nobody can represent your brand better than you can. You can't hire a marketing agency to, to represent, you know, you really have to be in front of your brand. And that, that's a big leap for a lot of people, you know, to, 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 to go from behind the desk, behind the curtain to the rock star on stage to, to wrap it all in, you know, it's like, yeah. that's a big change, but that's really what the group is about is like giving you the tools, giving you the strategy, giving you the, the format of how to do that. And it's not go up there and just talk off the top of your head. No, I get people like a real outline of exactly how to do it. So when it comes to some of these new challenges and things that are coming up, what's, sure. what's your favorite thing coming out of the TikTok business world? What would you recommend learn this, know this, and add it to your repertoire? Um, I always talk about these emerging sounds. We've all heard of trending sounds, right? But once they're a big trend, they're already kind of oversaturated. And so what we're actually doing in the group is we're creating our own business trends. We're using some of our social media influencers to create the trends for small businesses. So we're actually, with, this is the power of the group, is I have over a thousand businesses. I've coached over a hundred, you know, we're all working together and we ourselves bring the trends, the momentum. I'm talking to, you know, a thousand business owners and telling them, hey, everybody do this. Let's all do this together. And so we all help each other grow together. And then we're leveraging our really big influencers like Melissa, you know, Melissa Hughes, who's, you know, a hugely popular person to just dump gasoline on this fire. So as far as the trend goes, they're great. A lot of times they're paid. People will pay TikTok to create a trend for their business, right? Yes. We don't usually have the money for that, right? We could, but, you know, we're competing against the biggest brands in the world on TikTok, literally, and they're all on there now. And so how do we, as, as small and medium business owners, do what they're doing. Well, we don't have all the money that we, they have, but we do have the hearts, minds, and the accounts of thousands of businesses. Everyone wants to go viral. Yep. It's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> but how do you do it? Do the hashtags, do the at symbols, are there certain techniques and tricks to help something potentially go viral? Yeah. 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 We have people in the group all the time going viral. I have one lady in her first 20 days, 1.6 million views in her first 20 days. Now, she didn't go viral on accident, okay? There's a strategy behind it. it was, you know, I know there's a lot of people who have gotten a million views or over 500,000 views you know, in, their, in their first month, okay? It, it's not on accident. You know, I, I have an understanding of the TikTok algorithm and how things go viral. But we don't need to go viral. We don't have to go viral. We love it because it gets us out to a huge audience of people. Um, we don't, but we don't need to, I give people the strategies on how to grow consistently every single day, but how do we go viral? You know, how we all want to do it, right? It really comes down to how engaging the video, how, how many people share it, you know, does it appeal to a wide audience or very niche audience? How do you, how do you take your, maybe your niche brand and make it appeal to a wide audience, right? So all these things are considerations and that viral video looks different for each business. Right. So the viral video for, you know, the lady who got 1.6 million views in 20 days, she's representing a dog business, you know, a dog, she sells dog, dog, right. Now the viral video for the real estate agent looks a lot different than her video, right. Yeah. And the techniques behind it are a lot different. What are maybe some of the things to not do because it will hurt you and you definitely tank. Yeah. Yeah. You know, especially when you start on TikTok keeping things short because you're not that professional, you're not going to be making the most compelling, engaging video ever. And so if your video is really long, what TikTok looks at is, okay, how long, if your video is a minute long, how many people completed the video? You know, and in the most simplistic terms, okay, if you have a one minute long video, how many people completed it? If 100% people completed it, that video is going to go viral. Now, if only 10% of the people completed the one minute long video, that video is going to bomb, right? So it's easier to get a high completion time on a shorter video. So I'd say, you know, try to keep your videos short and try to keep them as engaged, try to keep people as engaged, as interested as possible for that short length of period of time. And that could be between 15 and 30 seconds. Yeah. And it's amazing once you learn it, how much you can put into a 15 or 30 second. Yeah. And yeah. you're right. You almost have to watch all the 15 seconds. It's almost guaranteed to get a full play out of it, really the way it goes. Yeah. Um, let's bring our poll back in here for a second. This is sure. very interesting. And uh, I want you to maybe uh, speak into it a little bit here. Mm -hmm. But these are the, 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 the live yeah. folks here tonight. What would you yeah. like TikTok to help you do? Grow sale, number one. Boom. Right. Right. And then That's... you've got grow the brand awareness or maybe help a cause. But number one, grow sales. Is that why most TikTokers 
on the business side are doing this? Is it because sales will increase by getting out there? Absolutely. I mean, that's everyone's question. You know, I say, hey, you got to get on TikTok, 1.6 million views in 20 days. First question is, what's the ROI on that? Well, first of all, TikTok's free. The average video is 15 seconds long. You can do as many of them as you want. But TikTok isn't your entire business. TikTok does one very specific thing in your business, which is get your business to people who've never heard of it before, which is really your number one struggle. Most businesses struggle not because they don't have a great product or a great website or they suck at sales. Nobody knows who you are at the end of the day. And so people put the cart before the horse and they say, you know, I, I say TikTok is level one. It's step, when you look at your sales funnel, it's awareness. And then you got to drive that traffic to somewhere else. Okay, so TikTok is, you know, is a huge, can do a huge boom in sales, but it's not your entire business, okay? But the question of sales, I'm really focused on sales because I help businesses. It's not to become a TikTok celebrity. I'm hyper-focused on getting them real sales on TikTok. And so we have a structure for that. How do you drive traffic to your landing page or to your website? Or how do you follow up with that person from TikTok? I'm hyper-focused on that because that's what people need in their business is the sales. You know, becoming a TikTok celebrity and a and getting brand awareness that can, we can, we can do that once we get the sales figured out. And I'm hyper-focused on that for people. So one of the things is in our different platform it's done differently is do you drive them to a landing page or do you drive them to your website? I come mm -hmm. from the school of everything runs through my website. I want mm -hmm. that to be the hub of all things, but mm -hmm. sometimes landing pages do the magic job too. Which is your preference? Now? Really what you want to do is I always say that TikTok is really good at getting people's attention, but it's not always the best at keeping their attention because there's so much going on. So I personally, I push them to my Facebook group, okay? Once they get into my Facebook group, guess what? They're involved in my community. They're seeing our events. To join my Facebook group, I get your email address. So now I can put you on email. Mar I can send you email updates. And so I just had you on TikTok. Well, now I got you in my Facebook group. You're seeing me on your Facebook wall. I got your email marketing. I can message you on Messenger, right? I can send you a message on Facebook Messenger, which is still one of the most popular messaging apps. So yeah. I started on TikTok. I got them into this. But how do you get people to your Facebook group, right? Yeah. How do you get people to your website? How do you get people to your landing page with your free offer and your freebie so you can follow up with that person? Do you, you put know, the link into the, to like the little message? You put the link in the message, you embed it in the video. What's the best way to do that? Yeah, TikTok, on TikTok, it's like Instagram. You get one link. On Instagram, you get one link. Now that can be a link tree, but you get one link and you got to direct people to, your, you got to do what's called a call to action. You got to, you know, if, if you want something from somebody, you got to ask for it, right? People aren't mind readers. They may love you want to do business with you. But if you never tell them how to support you, they'll never do it. And that's not because they don't want to. It's just because they don't know. So you got to do that call to action. Say, hey, if you want this, go here, go to my link, and then you get the freebie or then you get to join my community. So uh, the, the call to action, directing them to your profile to click on your link is, is the way to go. When it comes to lightly, Facebook is losing ground because meta is confusing people. Are you seeing that through TikTok that people are maybe pulling down the Facebook site a little bit and directing them to their websites more or other places? Or were they still primarily going to the groups and stuff? Because that meta thing is not working well for Facebook. Yeah, yeah. It depends on how you manage your community, how you manage your business, right? If you don't have a community, great. Send them to your landing page. Give them a 10% off on their next purchase. Capture their email address. Then you can set up email marketing, right? So that looks different for each business. It depends how you manage mine. You know, I have the Facebook, the Facebook community where we send out, you know, trending sounds and it's, it, it's, you know, Facebook. So we're, we're using the social media platforms for what they're good for, right? It's not that TikTok right. is my entire business. No, it meets a very specific function. It lets me get out there. Facebook is still good for what Facebook does. LinkedIn's still good for what LinkedIn, LinkedIn does, right? What about TikTok lives? Early on, they were just sitting around parties and you're kind of just hanging out, talking to people and I'm bored. Let's talk. So what can businesses do with those links uh, for the TikTok Live? Um, TikTok Live is really the biggest area of growth for TikTok. Live streaming like we're doing now yep. it is huge. And um, going live allows, I have a friend, he says every single time he goes live, he makes a sale because you have that interactive you know, people can ask you, it's, I say it's like QVC, but this QVC is on your phone. Everybody has it. It's uh, the most popular, you know, TV channel in the world. And it's got one, you know, 1 billion users active on it. So it's like, you know, way bigger than, but it, but it is the future of online selling. I mean, live selling. And you see so many people on TikTok doing this already selling it and TikTok actually, you can integrate a store and people can, can buy directly through TikTok. So that's, that's something that 
I sometimes leave out because a lot of businesses don't have a physical product that they can sell. Maybe that's a service. And, um, but if you do have a physical product that people can understand very quickly and, and, and within five seconds of hopping in on your live, holy smokes, there's a, you know, a huge opportunity for live selling on TikTok. What about TikTok ads? Are they really yeah. working or not working? Is it something that they should look at or too early to tell? No, TikTok ads definitely work. Definitely work. I think it fits products better than others because you can skip an ad and, you know, people are making a split second decision in about two seconds, your, your audience can drop by 90% in two seconds. Okay. So that's why I say the physical product that people can understand, you know, very quickly, if you have to explain your service, you, you could get people, but if you're th thinking about TikTok ads, I, I, I would consider what product you're selling. Now it could be a book because you can understand a book just by the title, mm -hmm. right? Uh, or, or your local business, right? Plumbers in Idaho, you know, that's said in one second, right? <laughs> people can understand that. It, so it depends on your thing. TikTok ads are incredibly, are incredibly effective, very high um, conversion rate. And they're much cheaper than a lot of other um, advertisements on Facebook or on LinkedIn, because not as people, many people use them. But the advertisement on TikTok is much different than the advertisement that you put on Facebook or that you put on LinkedIn or Google, you know? So you got to understand, I always say, before you do a TikTok advertisement, become really good at the free side, because the free is the same video that they'll see in the paid. You just dump money on that ad in the paid so it gets out to more people. Glad that you clarified that because for those yeah. who have tried Facebook ads, sometimes it just doesn't work. It's money going nowhere, but it's good to know yeah. that you really have that niche and make sure you do the other part first. Yeah. Become an expert at regular TikTok first before you try to do the paid ads. Because if you jump into the paid, you know, paid advertising, you know that it can be a money hole, right? And I know a guy who works for Facebook. He manages <laughs> Facebook advertisement and he sees businesses spend millions of dollars on Facebook ads and they go nowhere. So it doesn't matter, you know, you have to under, really understand how to advertise the platform. We're coming down to the first half of the show of growth. We're going to go backstage in a few moments and you're going to ask questions of the expert. We're going to bring cameras and microphones on. We're going to beam you in and we all get to hang out together and you're going to ask Alex your own questions. Alex, I know I'm going to share your social media link here. Uh, what else can you say about connecting and uh, getting to know you more? Where's the best way? Obviously, TikTok, where's the best way to find you? Yeah, go to TikTok. You can look up the TikTok for Business group on there. Um, best ways, connect with me on LinkedIn, Alex Hit. Um, you can go to, you, you're more than welcome to join my Facebook group. I, I think we put that in the chat uh, for everyone or just, you know, my, my Facebook group is linked down on my, on my TikTok profile. Um, so yeah, definitely go follow me on TikTok. I post 10 times or more a day on there. I'm about to be posting even more. Um, and you can get access to my Facebook group, my, my free TikTok guide. I got that on there. Um, yeah, I'm also pretty prevalent on LinkedIn and all, I'm all over. I'm, I'm doing them all. I'm doing them all. You can find me. Coming up again next week, we are going to be back. We are going to have two amazing shows in a row here on Rock the Stage. And uh, next week, we're going to be going to Omaha. We are going to actually be going on the road for a live in-person two-day conference. We're going to be backstage the night before. Greg Borer will be my guest. And Greg and I are co-founding, co-running the Ignite Conference. We want to take you back today to talk about why we're doing it, what we're doing, but also more importantly, what does it take to plan an in-person event? All the behind the scenes planning, the marketing, just the creation, because it's fun to do, but it's also very scary at times. Join us for that special event on July 27th, August 3rd. The, we're going to have ourselves a brand event as we're going to announce a new partner and we're going to talk about a new project it's about rocking your course. We're all creating courses. We're all trying to do many things and bring people in to train them and equip them. We're going to do a joint venture and it's talk about course creation, media training, and we're going to bring them together to talk about how you can better rock it, present it, sell it, and put it all together. Don't want to miss, miss that on August the 3rd. And of course, you can always find How the Rock's Stage on Roku and Amazon. If you ever have questions about presentation, media needs, and how you can better present and show up on camera for your TikTok or other video content, Contact me, rich at richbontrager.net, or just visit howtherockthestage.com.